up? My name is uh, Nathan Bowling. You got it. Jackman. 11. Race car. Swan Ohio. 6'4. 250. Starting. He's got fast feet, which is really, really tough for a guy of his size to have the steps down. He, he just really has a good tempo to his game. When you're looking for what you might believe to be the best Jackman you can look for, what, what, what's one of the top qualities or strengths you look for? I think this is one of the hardest things because a lot of guys, is that you need a lot of power. It's not just strength, it's, it's strength over time. So that's power. So you have to have a lot of power. Getting that car up in a hurry is power. Um, and then combined with foot speed and, you know, in a tight space. So you got to go fast and you got to stop and start. And so a lot of times it's hard to piece that together in somebody this size. Nate played in the NFL, was a defensive end. So th this would be probably the number one thing yeah. he's going to do in the he workout room. He likes showing room. off and doing it. We, we like, you, you know, and um, none of us in the company are anywhere close to this. But don't do this at home. And certainly if you do have a spotter that can. What's that weight? What do we got there, Nate? How much weight we got? 315. If you if you if you took all those plates off, I could probably do it. Yeah. <laughs> the Jackman is the powerful but agile quarterback of the pit crew. But he does much more than simply raise and lower the car. He's also responsible for wrangling tires and setting the pace of the stop. Nate coming around the front of the car, right there from the right side to the left side. And, and you're having to go around your front tire changer. In fact, I think you hit the man in the head right there. Is that one of your biggest challenges, how quick you can get from the right side to the left side? Yeah, that is a major part of my job, how quick I can get to there from, from right, point A to point B, right to left. Uh, there's more that goes into it than being a jack man, um, but, but a major part of it is how fast can you get from the right side to the left. The jack man is also in charge of the most crucial decision of the pit stop. We know that you're the signal to Denny Hamlin when you drop that jack like you're going to do on your second left side, time to go. He's, he's got the confidence that the boys, they've got all the lug nuts tight. Jackman is the last person to touch, to touch the car with his jack before it leaves the pit stall. So it's, it's, it's my responsibility to make sure that car is ready to go with full of fuel, lug nuts tight, and then drop the car and it's gone. Scott Wood, gas man for the number 11 FedEx Toyota. I'm uh, from Liberty, South Carolina, and I'm 49 years old. He's the anchor. He's been around uh, since dirt, uh, <laughs> I like to say. He's been around since uh, I I've driven that 11 car. He's been the guy. Uh, he's rock solid. When you're looking for that perfect gas man, what's probably the number one strength or quality you're looking for to find that perfect gas man? Well, obviously, controlling a heavy object under control um, where it's not always the same. You got people running around you, so you have to be able to control the weight in a very tight space, and if you can't lose your balance with it, so we look at balance and control and strength. We've gotten creative to try to do that. There's not a lot of machines and, and weights that can duplicate that, so we get things like these barrels and fill them full of sand and things like that. Scott can demonstrate. So this would be part of his strength yes. and conditioning here yeah, in the weight Yeah, a lot of functional room. strength training. You know, a lot of reps, picking up and putting that down. Now, how much does that weigh, Scott? You make, you're making it look mighty easy. I bet it's close to 75 to 100 pounds. These days, a great pit stop is less than 13 seconds, but it takes 13 to 14 seconds to fill an empty fuel tank. That leaves the gas man no room for error, especially if he is also involved with making adjustments to the car. This particular stop, Scott, he's going to stop short, and we see you've got that 90-pound fuel can in your right arm, and you're going to make an adjustment, it looks like, with your left arm, at least putting it in place for Heath to make the adjustment. Yes, and uh, you can tell that I was anticipating to him to come a little farther, but the reason he is out there is he had to pull around the car. You know, the, the hardest part of my job is because our pit crew is so good, you know. They, 
Yeah, they want me to fill that car by the time we finish the pit stop. And that fuel only going to go in there so uh, that's fast. That's exactly right. <laughs> so I, I can't have as much downtime as some of them, some of the guys can because the, our guys are so fast. Uh, what did it mean to you two guys to be part of back-to-back 2010-2011 winners of the Sprint Pit Crew Challenge to know on that night you beat the best of the best and all the focus was on the pit crew. Having the camaraderie and the team, the team accomplished something that there's, you know, I don't know, 24, 25 other teams trying to do and you come out on top both uh, two times in a row is pretty special. Uh, it's nice because it's the one event all year where the focus is on the pit crews for positive and not when you're having a problem. And uh, to go up against all the pit crews from the, the Sprint Cup Series and win it two years in a row, it's a, it's a big accomplishment for us. It, it's pretty cool because you get to go up against a lot, a lot of the guys on other teams are your friends and this and that. So it's fun to be able to go head to head against them and then you come out on top and it makes everything even better. I, I, th I think it was cool. It, it was really fun to win it the first year. It and, was. You know, because we, we, had, we had come through that whole deal and come so close in years past. To win it the first year was really cool. And then to come back the next year and defend the title the way that we did, because I, I think a lot of people forget that, you know, just weeks prior to that, we, we had a change in our crew. Yeah. You know, and so um, I think the, it really showed the mindset of our team.